as you've probably already guessed, I'm a freak. And do you know what it's like being a freak? Well, I'll tell you. It's scary, okay? Um, you wake up many days and you think you're an alien or something, okay? Like, you're going about your business and you don't feel like you fit in anywhere. And you're looking and watching the TV and you're like, wow, those people are so stupid. And you don't understand why the world's in such a mess and you're like <clears throat> the Joker, like you've seen Batman, okay? <sighs> With Heath Ledger as a Joker. That's a great character to describe what it's like to be a freak. There's a moment there where he was with Batman, and he was telling Batman, you're a freak, and don't be ashamed of it, that when he's gone, and when the freaks are gone, you know what's going to happen? <laughs> Freakdom. And in fact, it's the freaks, it's people like me that keep society going, because you know why? We are the bloody consciences. Conscience is of society. You understand that? Most people go about their business and they don't know why they do, why they do it, and when they do it, and what for. They just go to work, get a paycheck, and watch their entertainment without a forethought, without an afterthought of why they're here. Do you want to know why we're here? We're here to seek. You can seek whatever you want. But I'll tell you right now, if you stop seeking, you start dying. You might think that you're alive, but deep inside your soul is shrinking. And there comes a moment in your time, in your life, where you sit back and you go, is this all there is? Is this all that life is? Is it it's about accumulating things? And you have to make a decision. Are you going to continue on just getting things, seeking pleasure? Are you going to think about life? Are you going to reflect on it like Socrates and ask questions? Why? Why am I doing this? Why am I so miserable? And until you reach that point... You won't get anywhere in life. Oh, sure, you'll get money. I don't have much money. I'll tell you what I do have. I have a heart. A heart that seeks after God. After thought. After the Word. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning, okay? Now understand this, it all starts with a thought, and many times thoughts come as words, and you want to reflect on what you're thinking. See, what I'm thinking right now is this world is in a big mess, and it doesn't know it. Many people just go by, many people think that life is free, but guess what? It is free. But you got to take that freedom. you got to take it to the next step. you got to take it to the next level. you got to suck the marrow out of life. you got to write poetry. you got to make love like a god. Okay? Just don't go through the motions. Just don't think that you were put here on earth just to accumulate wealth. Sir, ma'am, you were here, sent by God, by the very angels of God, protecting you, guiding you through your destiny. All right, the planets, this little speck of dust in the universe, even less than that. Do you think it's all for nothing? Do you know what this universe was created for? It was created for black holes. Okay, you go to the science books and you find that out for yourself if you don't believe me. But this universe is optimally created to make, create, to manifest black holes. 
but guess what? There could be a time in Earth's future that it is sucked down into the depths of the abyss without any hopes of return. And I'm telling you right now that I experience this daily in my mind. My mind is a wormhole, okay? It's taken me places, all right? It's taken me to other areas of the known existence, all right? See, most people accept the common wisdom. Most people accept Einstein's maxims. But, sir, I deny them. He was a dyslexic man with a vision of doom. You know, just imagine. It's very possible if he never was made, it never was born, there never would have been an atom bomb. Okay? Think of the peace on Earth. If someone could go back in a time machine and prevent that birth. Forget Hitler, forget Stalin. It was fucking Einstein. Einstein brought death to this planet. And my goal is to try to regain something from this death from the depths of the quagmire we call this planet. All right. There's a maker who designed us in his likeness, and he designed us for love, to give, to hope, and to have faith. And I won't stop until I have that, you know. This is the order of the freak, is never to give in, never to give up, to realize that it's all a game. And the rules are this. The rules are, that as long as you keep on seeking, you will find the answers you're looking for. But, and the wonderful thing is, is once you find that answer, there will be a thousand new questions to be answered. So the pursuit is on constant, it is eternal. You must be vigilant. Most people give up. Most people don't understand that all that glitters is not gold. That there's a prize out there worth much more than money. It's life. The very essence of what it means to be. All right? Now, for example, most of the common knowledge is don't smoke. Why would you smoke? Are you a freaking idiot? You're going to get cancer. Well, I'll tell you this. Pass the peace pipe around with some Indians, and you'll realize there's a reason for tobacco. It brings out the social self. It brings out peace and camaraderie. These are the essence of what it is to be alive, to be a man. To go to those places where others haven't gone, like Eric the Red, Leif Erikson, even Napoleon, even though he was a murderer. But God, what he did, what he explored, no man had really done that. To such an extent, yes, he is no greater. In fact, he is less than Alexander the Great. For Alexander was the first emperor. And the emperors that have come since have much to be grateful for, for his lead. And now you see it. An emperor is a freak, right? He must think outside the box. He must be inside the box. He must be outside the box. He must be the box. All right. He must be the prize. He must be the essence. The essence. Okay. That's what you want, people. All right. Don't give up. Don't give in. Life is precious. Life in its simplicity is beautiful.